Good evening, everybody. It is 8.16 here in Florida, and blessings to everyone. Okay, you guys, this video and the next you're not going to want to miss. Now, if you remember, there was a little Swedish boy. He was 8 years old. This was about 4 years ago, and they had put out a video about one of his dreams. And, uh, well, I'm going to share something with you, but first I want to preface this uh, so that we can understand it's not about a date, Okay. Let's take a listen. Well, good day, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the next video. Guys, I'm going to take you back three years ago, March 27th, 2018. There was a Swedish boy, an eight-year-old boy, who had a vision of the rapture, the catching away. And his father uploaded the video from his, his own website. I think it's Trinity Right Direct website. And... The boy had the vision on a Tuesday. It was the Tuesday prior to Resurrection Sunday, Holy Week. And the father misinterpreted the, the boy's vision and said that the vision would be that particular weekend, like the April 1st date. So the boy... So please just remember, it's not about dates. And I'm doing this because I don't know if this has anything to do with what's going on with this ecumenical movement on the 13th of um, November on Sunday. Uh, it just, I don't know, it just kind of jumped out at me. Everything that's being said, and if you just listen in, in the spirit, you guys, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. And, well, I had two confirmations to this. One little gin bug, I love you, sweetheart. Uh, she had put in my comment section a little while ago, Hey, Sherry, do you remember that little Swedish boy, da-da-da-da-da? And I was like, yes, I do. And I was thinking about him last night. And not only that, about two years ago, a little over two years, um, I woke up from a dream, and all I kept hearing was Egypt, 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 Egypt. I was like, oh, my goodness, why am I dreaming of Egypt? Well, I don't know, y'all. This might be why. I don't know. I'm not setting dates. I just, it just struck me funny about all this. Now, I want to give you a little um, description here. Mount Sinai, also known as Mount Moses, is a mountain in the Sinai pen Peninsula of Egypt that is a possible location of the biblical Mount Sinai, which is considered a holy site by the Abrahamic religions. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Okay, so just please remember it's not about dates. They thought what they thought back then, and uh, well, you know, it's, it was incorrect. But could it be correct now? I don't know. But um, also the audio on this I want to apologize for. It's not very loud, but I'll try to cut my hand down here to make it louder. Here we go. Translate from my son's vision uh, to try to describe what he saw in his vision given by Jesus. Uh, on Friday. snow on the mountain is just is 
just it's just the way that he likes to draw the mountain. Okay, asking a boss for for him to When this happens, we will get uh, <coughs> two minutes, then two, no, two hours uh, to warn, uh, to run to other peoples and warn. Saturday will be given as a day for uh, last time to witness to people. Uh, it's not a must, says my son, but he says that uh, it, it, it'll be a time to uh, witness to others. Sunday, the day of rapture, uh, he says that all of a sudden, even if you're in the house, you will start to get light and start to... Okay, so he's talking about the rapture there. Let's go one more place, y'all. Okay, so we know that the uh, route to Mount Sinai was the Red Sea. And Brother Paul uh, put this to Kim Fisher, and he also um, gave me a bunch of his dreams. And this is why I'm saying listen to the next video because there's satellites in this also. And I have a reason for that. I'm sorry if my uh, tablet is clicking. But anyways, he says, also I woke up to a dream today that I was getting a suit ready for an interview for or a meeting I had in the city. And I was rushing around to get everything ready because it was soon. Before I left to go, I was asked by my family to pick up something from the store. So I went to the deli, not remembering what it was I had to get, and my brother reminded me it was Turkey. Now there's a whole lot going on, you guys, with that country right now, with Russia and with Ukraine. So I went to the clerk who spoke in a Russian accent, and I bought from him a turkey, and the brand name was Red Sea. He handed me the turkey and charged $19.00. And I looked at the package and I saw the word Pentecost written on it. Wow, y'all. Pentecost. And the giving of the Ten Commandments. The real Ten Commandments. And I sure do feel for these people that are going to the base of this mountain. I really do. Anyways, I wanted to share this with you. Because I was like, well, could it be? I don't know. You just have to wait and see. Anyways, God bless all of you. Amen and amen.